Welcome back, everybody. Today, we're going to be taking a look at a system called Crystal Linux. Uh, I don't know much about the system, so uh, we're going to go through it together and figure it out. Uh, the ISO is uh, loaded, so let's take a look at it. This is the welcome screen, but I'm looking for an installation. And I see it install Crystal Linux. Oh, this is the installer. Okay, so it's not a welcome screen, it's an installer. All right, let me click on start. Region, United States of America. Seems to be correct. Los Angeles, that's correct. Uh, main locale and everything, seems fine. Now, let me add a username. Strong and complicated password. All right, so right here are the option to select, select desktop. So right now it's uh, automatically selected on Onyx. Uh, I don't think I've ever seen Onyx. I think this is Onyx, it's like a modified unknown. So let's go with that. And time shift and ZRAM D. I'm just going to leave the defaults. All right, got the hard disk selected. Overy, overview or summary. All right, now I guess it's installing uh, Crystal. I believe it is. So. Yeah, seems to be installing. So I'm going to go ahead and pause it now. And then uh, hopefully when I come back, we'll be at a reboot prompt or on the new system itself. And it looks like we are rebooting now. I am presented with my user. So I'm going to click on that. It's asking for a password. Enter the password. And it looks like we are on Crystal Linux and we are presented with a welcome screen. But uh, of course, uh, our uh, display is not correct. So let's go ahead and fix that now. Go to settings and displays. Nineteen twenty by ten eighty. Click on apply. Keep changes, and now we're ready to take a look at it. And of course, being that it is a modified GNOME system, we have the GNOME help here, or the GNOME welcome rather. And pretty much, it's a it's a standard thing on GNOME. So whenever you log in for the first time, you're presented with the welcome screen. So let's go ahead and go through it real quick, and uh, just uh, take the quick tour. Make your choices. This wizard will take care of everything. Color scheme, of course. You can go dark or you can go light. So it looks like originally it was set to dark and I kind of like that also. So I'll just go back to it. Click next. Uh, Flat hub is uh, ticked on by default. Uh, Nix, uh, that's a whole, these are other situations in their cell. So I'm just going to leave the default flat hub. And then uh, prompt me for my password. Uh, automatic something. So Amethyst Crystal Linux offers. Well, it's going too fast for me to even read. So So it says something about a Pac-Man wrapper. So it's looking like a, it's going to be an Arch-based system. So let me click more, read more. It's probably going to open up a web page. Yes, it does. And Amethyst. Merge branch, full slash main patch. All right, it's not giving me much info. It's just telling me where 
it is. All right, here's a reading. Amethyst is a fast, efficient, and lightweight AOR helper and Pac-Man wrapper made for crystal, compatible with any Archbase Linux distribution. So that's pretty much what uh, Amethyst is. And looks like the welcome screen tour and setup is completed. Oh, and it's asking me to reboot again, so I guess I'll have to reboot again. Okie doke, we are rebooting now. So now we're gonna take a look at uh, Crystal Linux, which has the Onyx desktop. Uh, Onyx seems to be a modified uh, GNOME desktop, as you can tell by the way it looks, pretty much has everything identical to GNOME. Uh, you can see uh, our panel right here is a bottom panel though, and it looks like it has a regular application launcher. So uh, yeah. But first, let's take a look at our system tray. Of course, we know that GNOME uses the uh, single button to combine pretty much all the functions, and it's no different here. All the functions are combined to one button right here, and that is your uh, system tray button. And instead of having a clock in the middle like you would right here, they just moved it right next to it. So it's basically the same notification and calendar that pops up when you click on it. So there's a event reminder and everything that you can set up right here with your clock. And this right here, this, I do not know what this is. Let me click on it. It says update now, or oh, it's an update manager. Yeah, so it's basically just an update manager. And then pinned on the panel here, we have a couple of applications here. So let's go through them and see what we have. The first one is gonna be software. And being that it's a known base system, I wonder if this will work on here. I guess we'll find out shortly. But uh, the software is a known project, 45.2. So it's a very updated program. All right, let's see if we can install simple software like HTOP. If we can even find it. It's searching for it. No app found, okay. Now let's see if we have to find Neofetch. Ah, seems to be like nothing's found. All right, we'll go back to the Explorer, see what's on here. See what's simple to install. Let's go in the Create section, probably find GIMP. Being that it's the first time you use it, the cache is always uh, backed up. So let's see, do we have GIMP? I'm not seeing it at all, so. Should I just search for GIMP? Well, let's try Audacity. Let's see if it installs Audacity. Oh, it's installed it from FlatHub. So that's how this works. This is using the FlatHub repository. All right, that makes more sense now. All right, so that's your software manager. But uh, while that's installing, let's take a look at files, which should be files. And we do the about uh, files, the known project, 45.2.1. Standard file manager. And then we, I don't know why they would have a, a calendar pinned. Seems kind of uh, intuitive, but hey, their choice. Let's see about calendar, calendar, the known project 45.1. Yeah, typically you will see like a terminal, a terminal emulator pinned or, you know, a web browser, but I've never seen a calendar pin, but hey, it's here. And it's calendar, if you want to set up a bit, click on a date, give it a name, choose the type, personal or whatever. And then now uh, you can edit the details, add info, notes. All right, that's your calendar. And then uh, while this is set installing, I guess we can now take a look at the uh, applications menu. 
So uh, to take a look at the application menu, you just uh, click right here where it says show apps and bam. And it pretty much shows you everything that's on here. So you have uh, some server, a server browser, a VNC server browser. You have a weather app, clocks. Audacity is now installed. We've been notified. Uh, zero Conf browser extensions. I have known Firefox, calculator, G Edit, hardware locality, settings, system monitor, manage printing, test utility, utilities, video capture utility, help, time shift, X term, Vim. X term, or UX term, and then X term, and Audacity, which I just installed. All right, so let's take a look at our web browser. And there we have it. So we have Firefox. Let's see what version of Firefox we got. And it is 120.0.1. And it is from the Flatpak. So, so far I'm seeing uh, packages here, are, even though it's an Arch-based system, it looks like everything's coming from FlatHub and flat packs. But uh, let's do a quick search for Crystal Linux. See what kind of info we get. Crystal Linux official site. So yeah, it even tells you blatantly, an Arch-based distribution. Crystal Linux is a brand new Arch Linux-based distribution, friendly, powerful, and easy to use. And Onyx is built in. I don't know what Onyx is, but it's a, oh, we're setting right here. It's a custom GNOME session with a familiar layout or choose your favorite. It does automatic backups. Amethyst, which is a, AME install. Okay, so we got to use AME install and then blah, 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 whatever the program is. Let's try that right now. All right. I'll go ahead and close this. Uh, let's open uh, Xterm. Let me see. Is it AME install? Let's do HTOP and NeoFetch. Give it a password. Proceed with installation. Yes. Let me see. Did it install? We will soon find out. Let's try H top. And it looks like it did. Alright, so it's X term, so zoom in. I'm not sure how to do zoom with X term. Usually every other browser, where you just click Control Shift and uh, the plus key, and it'll zoom in. But I'll manually zoom in and while I'm editing. All right, so this is a uh, HTOP. Now let's take a look at NeoFetch. All right, and that's NeoFetch. See Crystal Linux. Kernel is six dot six dot seven. And desktop environment is known 45.2. All right, so I did install Audacity, so let's take a look at that also. Audacity is a audio editing tool. Okay, looks like it's doing some uh, manage plugins. Continue. Don't show this every time it boots up. So here, uh, this is a pretty simple but strong audio uh, configuration tool. Uh, let's say like right now on this video, I'll give you a sample. Right now, I'm going to change it to the way the my voice sounds without me editing it in Audacity. So one, two, three, now. And this is the way it sounds. You can hear the background noise. It's pretty much horrible. Now I'm going to change it back to the edited audio. One, two, three, now. And the way I do that is that I go into effects, noise removal and repair, click on noise reduction, and just change it from there.
And that pretty much fixes the audio in here. Well, it doesn't fix it. You know, there are some artifacts in there, and you can see the way it sounds. It's not 100% perfect, but it gets the job done. And that's Audacity. All right. So Crystal Linux, not bad. Looks pretty good. Like I said, it's a modified GNOME system. Uh, if I was in a GNOME, I wouldn't mind using it. But, uh, yeah, GNOME is not my cup of tea, so I tend to stay away from it. Anyways, uh, hope you like what you see, and uh, if it's something you're looking for, the homepage in the description. The homepage and download link will be in the video description down below. All right? And that's going to do it for me on this one. So I'm going to go ahead and cut it short. And I'm out. Mm -hmm.